question regarding the Patriot Air Defense System's ability to neutralize the Kinzel missile has sparked intense debate within defense circles. Russia projects the Kinzel missile to be an invincible hypersonic weapon, while the United States regards the Patriot as a premier air defense system. Both sides are engaged in a series of claims and counterclaims. In this video, we'll be analyzing the capabilities of Patriot against the strengths of Kinzel missile, and we'll try to determine whether the Russian missile will be able to evade the Patriot, or the defense system will eliminate the Kinzel. Before we start, let's take a brief look at these two systems first. Moscow claims that its Kinzel hypersonic missile system, also known as Dagger, is unstoppable. The design of the missile is derived from the Iskander missile, originally a ground-launched system. Several enhancements have been implemented in its guidance system to facilitate air launch capabilities. The missile is known for its ability to target both stationary and mobile objects including aircraft carriers, missile defense systems, and land-based targets. A standout feature of the Kinzel is its remarkable speed, reaching up to Mach 10 or approximately 7,600 miles per hour. This speed advantage significantly diminishes the window of opportunity for countermeasures, delivering a significant tactical edge over slower and lighter cruise missiles. The Kinzel has a reported range of 1,200 miles. When launched from a MiG, 31K aircraft and a range of 1900 miles when launched from a 222M aircraft. These range figures are calculated by adding the missile's range to the combat radius of the retrospective aircraft. Having an extended range proves valuable in a diverse range of missions. It enhances operational flexibility, extends coverage over a larger geographic area, and reduces risk by firing the missile from safer distances. The Kinzel's capability to perform high speed maneuvers fundamentally changes the dynamics of combat, outmatching the conventional missiles. The missile is capable of striking with both conventional and nuclear warheads. This turns it into a strategic weapon of unprecedented deterrence. Its ability to carry devastating payloads at hypersonic speeds adds a new layer of complexity to global security dynamics. The production cost of a single Kinzel missile is upward of $10 million. On the other hand, the Patriot is a sophisticated surface-to-air guided missile system that can detect and shoot down incoming missiles and aircraft. A typical Patriot battery consists of a radar set, engagement control station, power generation, support stations, and eight launch vehicles. The Patriot is armed with two missile types, each with its own range and capability. The Pac-2 variant can intercept and destroy aircraft and tactical ballistic cruise missiles through a proximity fusing mechanism, which means that the warhead is detonated near the incoming target, creating a blast wave that destroys it. The missile can exceed 3,146 miles per hour in speed and intercept targets at distances over 99 miles, while the Pac-3 are optimized specifically to intercept and destroy incoming objects through a hit-to-kill technology, which involves physically colliding with the target to neutralize it. This makes Pac-3 more effective against more advanced ballistic missiles, which may be equipped with decoys or other countermeasures. It has a range of 37 miles and can engage incoming targets at high altitudes with speeds over 3,146 miles per hour. As per manufacturer, both missile types are used in tandem to achieve a success rate of 80 to 90 percent. According to strategic and international studies, the cost of a single battery is about $1.1 billion, which includes $400 million for the system and $700 million for the missiles. The Kinzel system boasts a remarkable top speed of Mach 10, rendering it exceptionally fast for engaging targets at hypersonic velocity, while the Patriot system operates at Mach 4, which although slower than the Russian missile, still provides substantial speed for its interception role. Moscow projects the Kinzel missile as hypersonic weapon. In general, hypersonic missile is a term used to describe missiles that travel at speeds exceeding Mach 5, or five times the speed of sound renowned for their exceptional speed and quick maneuverability, which renders them challenging to intercept. Within the framework of this definition, some defense analysts believe that the Kinzel is not a part of a new class of hard-to-kill missiles that exclusively includes highly maneuverable hypersonic glide vehicles, which can maintain hypersonic speeds during their entire flight. 
The Kinzel counts on the same evasive technique as the Iskander M. At random intervals, it jinks slightly. It is not a big deviation, but enough to defeat ballistic interceptors. However, the Patriot can detect and correct for these jinks, so it is not much of a defense. Secondly, achieving hypersonic flight is primarily possible during the initial phase at very high altitudes, usually above 40,000 feet. However, the Kinzel must inevitably descend from this altitude to reach its intended target, subjecting it to the effects of aerodynamic drag, which will lead to a significant reduction in speed during the terminal phase, potentially transitioning to subsonic or moderately supersonic speeds like a conventional ballistic missile. At this range and altitude, the Pac-3 can intercept the Kinzel because the Patriot is specifically designed to shoot down such targets. Irrespective of its official classification as a hypersonic weapon or not, Kinzel continues to pose a significant threat. Similar to the Iskander missile, it is equipped with several decoys. These decoys are released at high altitude and intended to look like incoming missiles, whereas a single Patriot launcher can mix and match Pac-2 or Pac-3 missiles. A Patriot battery with 8 launchers could have as few as 32 Pac-2 missiles or as many as 128 Pac-3 missiles. The Pac-3 is more maneuverable and ideal to intercept threats like the Kinzel. The Patriot's phased array radar can simultaneously track over 100 targets at ranges exceeding 93 miles. In simple calculations, armed with 128 Pac-3 missiles and with a 90% accuracy rate, the Patriot has a better chance to intercept a couple of dozen Kinzels. Unless, the Patriot system is overwhelmed by a massive onslaught of Russian missiles. However, to carry out such an operation, Russia would need to deploy a large fleet of MiG-31s or two 22M aircraft, which could potentially trigger alerts on NATO's radar system. Additionally, given the sanctions imposed by the West and the dwindling stock of Kinzel missiles, Russia finds itself facing limited operational options, but Moscow certainly holds a few more in stock, and there are likely to be further rounds on the contest of Patriot versus Kinzel during the ongoing conflict. In summary, regardless of whether the Kinzel is officially classified as a hypersonic weapon, it remains a formidable threat, distinguished by its remarkable speed, maneuverability, and versatile warhead configuration. In contrast, the Patriot system excels in accurate and precise engagements against aerial threats. The effectiveness of both systems ultimately relies on the ratio of available Kinzel missiles for the attack to the number of Patriot missiles available to counter those attacks. Now, we'd love to hear your thoughts. Share them in the comments section below. We hope you found this video both informative and enjoyable. If you did, please show your support by giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel for more related content.